Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a quick look at this Sabrent external free tool enclosure for M.2 PCI NVMEs and also SATA SSDs, which is really, really cool. Usually we only have ENVME or SATA SSDs. In this particular case, we have both on this enclosure. Now, let's just recap before we talk about this one right over here, which is really cool. I just did the unboxing on my Portuguese channel, but I'll show you a few images right over there. Once we open the package, we'll have the enclosure, USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, a quick user guide, which I believe that you won't need. And that is about it. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, that is about it. And we also have a sticker right over here, which says something really cool, which is spread the love online your review help buyers like you make the right choice which is true we all need reviews from each other so if you get one don't forget to <laughs> review because it's really cool to share our opinion and experience now before we talk about this in the past we have seen this one right over here which is really really cool and it's really well built actually i haven't seen any product from saber that it's not well built and look at this just awesome awesome and if you want to find a little bit more just check the channel search for sabrent and you will have a lot of details about it but really well built and a really well designed we saw this one last year and it's great now in terms of price this is uh, somewhere on the 50 euros range which is totally worth it it's a bargain for what you get so if you don't like this dark color, you have this color right over here, which is just awesome. Now, a few days ago, we took a look at this one. This is a different piece. This is the dual enclosure for PCI NVMe with active cooling and cloning function, which is also awesome. And I still got it here on my desk. So this one right over here, just in case you are looking for something even cooler. And in a few days, I'll share with you the latest Thunderbolt 3, which is also really cool now this one right over here one thing that you might expect is uh, the build quality still great but the price really really low so i'll leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out but we are talking about a solution of 10 gigabit speed at the price of 30 euros more or less or the equivalent on us dollars or any other currency that you work with now uh if i show you right over here on this camera sabrent this is aluminium brushed aluminium really nice so the build quality is not gone the price is but the build quality is still right over here then has this nice button on this side and let me focus right over there if i press it it will open the enclosure and bam it has this thing right over here which will just keep it uh, all together it's not two pieces that will come aside apart it's just two pieces but will stay right over here like a window or a door so really really cool and this brushed aluminium here will act as a dissipator heat dissipator for the nvme as you can see it has a pad right over here which we can take the sticker and then just uh, leave it aside on the uh, nvme and the aluminium enclosure will dissipate the heat much faster which is really really cool and then to put in the ssd and to uh, secure it even better it has this rubber thingy right over here that we can put it and bam and that is it so really really cool and in a few seconds i will show you a test, a test speed but uh, what you can expect is 10 gigabit which is equal to 1000 megabytes per second more or less now uh, one interesting thing is that i have two sabrents right over here so this is the sabrent q and uh, if i put it this is an nvme obviously and it uh, just works great i can push the plastic or the rubber uh, thing to secure and there we go it is secured in place just works really nice very easy no tools required ready to bam really great speeds on a really cheap enclosure great quality and that is it so i love the system really love the system so i just need now to press right over here and there we go 
So we have two NVMEs, by the way, this is the fastest SSD or NVMe on the planet right now. 7,000 megabytes per second on reads and on writes. And if you haven't checked the review, I will leave a link somewhere right over here where you can check it out. I did the speed test on Windows as well. So we'll have all sorts of tests on Crystal Disk Mark and so on and so forth. But it will work the same way. It is an NVMe. Now, I was looking for a SATA SSD and the only one that I found was this one right over here. And I took this out of a machine that I don't remember. As you can see, I can put it here and it will work. So great. Now this uh, SSD in particular has one disadvantage, which is to put the rubber is not as easy because a normal SSD has a bigger opening like this. And then this one is really close. So you will have a bit of difficulty to, to, to put it. But I saw no issues at all in doing like this and then just close it up and it will secure it. So no issues whatsoever. Now, what we are going to do is a speed test because that's just fun. So let's put the Sabre and Q right over here and uh, we can just put the rubber and there we go, secured, closed and then just USB type C to USB type C on my Mac Pro. It has a blue light that I'm not sure if you can see it on that angle. Probably not. Maybe yes. Maybe yeah. Yeah, we can see it from this angle right over here. A blue LED light right over here, which is indicating activity. And let's look at the screen and select target drive. And in this particular case, I've got the rocket Q right over here. Let's open it up and speed test start. So here we are, 900 and something megabytes per second on reads and, oh sorry, on writes and 780, why? We were on 900 as well, just a few minutes ago. Um, on the previous test and I'll show you on screen, I was getting one time, well, 900 megabytes per second on reads and on writes, which is the maximum that we will get on any device with 10 gigabits. So 794, let's, let's swap the, okay, let's stop this test and let's swap the SSD, but it shouldn't because it was actually giving a little bit better results than the Rocket 4 Plus, which is a faster SSD. Did I mention that it's the fastest on the planet? I think so. Uh, it is, really really fast we are talking about 7000 megabytes per second on reads and on writes which is just something crazy complete i had to restart my macbook pro because i was getting a error right over here but we are back everything opened up i'm recording so let's select the target drive at this moment and i want the rocket 4 plus open it up and speed test there we go 900 megabytes per second on writes and 900 and something megabytes per second on reads which is the speeds that we will get on any drive now the limit of this nvme is as i said 7000 megabytes per second on reads and on writes but with the enclosure of 10 gigabits we will only get uh, 1000 megabytes now let's stop and just out of curiosity let's remove this one and let's put let's put back the Sabrent Rocket Q. Let's close it up. Let's do something right over here. Disk utility. I'm not really sure if this will help anything, but let's try it out. Because it's weird, uh, a few moments ago, as I showed on screen already, I got uh, the maximum Rocket Q. And at this moment, I'm not getting. Let's put macOS extended and erase. Okay. And there we go. Almost done and done. Okay, let's close this up. Select target drive and yes, open it up and let's see. So 890 megabytes, 900 more or less, and 900. Okay, here we are. So not really sure what happened. And right now we are 926, which is just awesome. And 901, right? Not really sure what happened. Something on the file system. I don't know. Uh, but it worked just awesome and we got the maximum speed which is what we were expecting and guys basically this is it so in terms of the enclosure itself it's really cool 
in terms of build quality great at a really affordable price with a really nice system right over here and that is it hopefully the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget a very appreciated thumbs up right over there my name is Huerto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one